Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today I'm going to talk about the Predator Aquatics import from Max Cichlids in Florida. Predator Aquatics are getting together the next import from Max Cichlids in Florida. They're bringing in about 30 boxes of fish and there's 15 or 16 different species that they're bringing in. Predator Aquatics, they're based in Newton the Willows on Merseyside and they're fast becoming the number one go-to place for quality Central American cichlids. It's run by Rick Murphy and what he tries to do with all the fish that he brings in, he has the full lineage of them so you can actually trace all the species back to the wild caught location. He's the only UK supplier that does this in my knowledge. Max Cichlids, they're based in Florida and what Max does is he travels down to Central America a couple of times a year, catching his wild caught species, takes them back to his facility, breeds them and makes the first generation from wild available. Rick's bringing in three different species of Amatillania this time. He's bringing in the Mineri, which I was lucky enough to get a pair of in September last year and I've managed to breed. The Mineri were the wild ones were caught in Rio Largo in Costa Rica. The males get up to about five inches. All the species of the fish that he's bringing in are quite happy in a pH of between six and a half to seven and a half. They're not fussy eaters, so all your normal foods, all your frozen foods, your pellet foods, your flake foods, they're all quite happy with. The next species that he's bringing in is the Amatillania setum fasciata. As you can see here, there's a photograph of the male and the female. The females are really colourful. These were caught in the Rio Cornito in Costa Rica and again the males get up to about 5 inches. The third species of Amatillania that he's bringing in is the Sequoia. These were caught in the Rio Bagalas again in Costa Rica. These get a little bit bigger than the other two with the males getting up to about 7 inches. There's an Amatillania trimaculatus that he's bringing in. These were actually caught in Mexico in the Rio Nile Tepe. As you know with the uh, with the Trimax, they do get a bit bigger than, um, than the other ones and the males can reach up to about 16 inches. There's Andacara colopontatus. Again, these were caught in Costa Rica in the Rio Cargo and the males get up to about seven inches. There's a South American species that he's bringing in, which is the Mesoheros feste. These were caught in Ecuador in the Rio Guinassas. These get up to about 12 inches. If you know anything about the feste, you'll know that the females in these ones are really colorful. They get lots of reds, uh, yellows, oranges. When they're in breeding condition, they are a sight to behold. There's four different species of Cryptoheros that he's bringing in. The Cryptoheros afari, which again comes from Costa Rica, from the Rio Carnia. The males of these ones get up to about eight inches. There's the Cryptoheros buzzingai, again from Costa Rica, from the Rio Largai, the same place as the Mineri. These get up to about seven inches. The Cryptoheros dicoeus, I've butchered that name. <laughs> Again, these are from Costa Rica, from the Rio Panteca. These get up to about 10 inches. And the last one of these is the Cryptoheros robertstoni. Again, these are some of the ones that I got in September last year. These again are from Costa Rica. They get a bit bigger than the other ones with the males getting up to about 12 inches. I'm looking forward to these ones coming in because I had a pair and unfortunately I lost the female. So here's the video of just the male. The next species is the Hero Telepia multispinosa. This is one of my favorite South uh, Central American species. These ones again are from Costa Rica, from the Rio San Juan. 
Uh, the males get up to about six inches. These are a relatively peaceful uh, cichlid, which you can keep in a community tank. Uh, they do breed quite reg readily. Uh, I have done a species profile on these, which I'll, I'll put a link to all the species profiles that I've done at the end of the video. The next one again is another one that I've, I've managed to keep and breed, uh, the Nicaragua Gwensis. These are from Costa Rica, from the Rio San Juan. The colours in these ones are amazing. Um, most of the fish that are, um, that are coming in, as I mentioned before, they are first generation from wild. So they're really good quality fish. Uh, with the Nicaragua Gwensis, the males get up to about 10 inches, with the females staying slightly smaller. Again, in my experience, I've found them to be a relatively peaceful cichlid. Uh, but have a look at the species profile that, that I did a couple of months ago. The next species is the Neotropolis Neotropolis. Again, I've managed to keep these ones and breed them. Um, they get a bad rap, in my opinion. Um, people say that they are an aggressive fish. I've never found them to be too aggressive. In fact, species like the convict cichlid are a lot more aggressive in my experience. With these ones, they're from the Rio Fortuna in Costa Rica. The males can get up to about five inches with the females a little bit smaller. Again, they're quite easy to breed. Um, I've managed to breed them quite a few times since September. The next one was one of the fish that's always been on my wish list, is the Thomas cichlid tuba. Um, there's two different catchments that, uh, that Max has actually managed to get these ones from. The Rio Fortuna in Costa Rica and the Rio Sequeri in Costa Rica. It was the Rio Sequeri ones that I got last year and that I got a group of them. Um, I found them to be really slow growing. So I think patience is, is needed with these ones, but they are a spectacular fish once they get to full size. They get to about 12 inches in total. Um, fantastic fish. Uh, again, as you can see in the video, uh, I've got them in a community tank. Admittedly, they are only about three inches at the moment, but they, they've settled in really well and they don't bother any of the other fish. What they'd be like when they get bigger, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've never kept them before. Uh, this is the first time, but I, we'll see. But as I say, they're from two different locations. And the final species is the Vigia melanora. The Vigia melanora, they're from Guatemala, from the Largo Pen 10. Uh, they get, like all the Vigias, they do get a bit bigger. So these ones, they, they can get up to about 14 inches. Again, the colours in them are amazing. Um, you don't see them as often as some of the other Vigias, uh, but they're really, really good quality fish. Predator Aquatics are only bringing in limited numbers of all these species and they are taking pre-orders for them. So if you don't want to miss out and be disappointed, if you can get your order through to Predator Aquatics through the website by the 23rd of May, the shipment is due in early June. So by the time they've come in, they've been quarantined and made sure that everything's okay with them after the long trip from Florida. They'll be ready for collection or for shipment from the 21st of June. I hope you found this video interesting. If you've got any questions or comments, please please leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already and you, you, you like the videos that I do, please uh, press subscribe and click the bell notification so that you know when, when the next one goes up. As I say, if you've got any questions on any of the species, if you get in touch with Predator Aquatics, uh, failing that, if you leave it in the comments, I'll do my very, very best to answer them for you. Um, there's some fantastic fish coming in, some really rare species, some I've never seen before, so I'm really looking forward to, to the shipment coming in. And see you all next time.